Junior is pushing them out of the house. Yes, Daddy. Please, Father, you need to hurry up. I can't stop him. You need to hurry up. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm waiting for you. Okay. It's my house. I choose when to talk. And I said, your father wants to know what she has done. You are a shameless father. Ah, and you are a shameless son. Side cheek. If I slap you, you will change color. Take these things out of my house now! Talk to your father now! No! I will not do it. I am your father. Daddy, please. Don't disrespect me. Daddy, please, please, Daddy. Daddy, it's okay. Brother, you need to come down. Please, come down. Down, I hate repeating myself. You all should leave my house now, else I will do something that all of us will regret. Mega, please. Please calm down. Take it easy. Barrister, don't tell me to calm down. Take these people out of my house, else I will do something that will make all of us land in court. Please. Please, Buddha. You need to come with me. No. You need to go with me. Daddy, just leave her. Sorry. Sorry. I hope you beat you. It's my stomach. What? Glad now. Please, somebody should wake me up from this bad thing. I need to wake up. What is happening to my husband? Okay. Stop crying, stop crying. No, we're here now. It's okay. I think the way go from this, I don't know what's wrong with my husband. I don't know. It's enough. Remember your baby. Stop it already now. Stop. Just think about the baby. Your health. It's okay. Stop. Stop. Where is he? Where is he?
How could you, Daddy? How could you, Daddy? Daddy, why did you do it? Why? Daddy, you have done the worst. You have done the worst, Daddy! I thought you meant well for us. I thought you meant well for your son, Daddy! Me? Let us go. Mom? Um, sis, please. What is the problem? Eh? Let us go. You said. What happened? What's going on? Babe, can you explain to me what is going on? Why are you hitting on your father? Why are you attacking him? What has he done? What is going on? We are all confused here. You are the least idiot. I want to speak to you. I don't want to hear your voice. So do not speak to me. Sis, stop it. You're being rude right now. What has happened? What is wrong? Maybe you should ask your father and this woman here what is going on. You don't want to talk. You don't want to talk, right? Maybe you shall explain to the elders in the village what you have done to your son. That is all I have to tell you. Babe, let us go. in the dark. Just tell us what's happening. Because all this is tearing this family apart. Daddy, please, say something. Just, just tell us what's going on. Babe, babe, please come down and talk to me. Can you talk to me? I'm your husband. What's going on? Please. Look, baby, listen. Okay, look, I know you're angry. But please, Calm down and explain to me your husband. What is going on? Look, I don't, I don't understand anything. What is going on? What did you discuss with your brother that made you attack your father in such a manner? Baby, please talk to me, please. I want to be left alone. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk to anybody. Let me be, please. Babe, do you realize I'm your husband? Babe, I am your husband and I'm very curious. What is going on? I said I want to be left alone. Babe, I won't let you be. What is all this? Babe, can you just talk to me? What is going on? You can't keep me in the dark. I followed you to your brother's house because I want to know what was going on with his family. Talk to me. Babe, please. What is going on? Come on, I deserve to know. What is, what is all this? What is happening? Speak. <laughs> You're welcome, my dear. Isn't it? No. No. Isn't it? How is your daughter and her family? Ah. They are fine, no. They are doing just very well. I hope you are preparing for the Mugwa. Ah! <laughs> that one, are you asking me? Ha! Immediately she put to bed. I pick my bag. <laughs> Off I go. All right. Mm. Right. My friend, Ugoma, mm. I invited you to tell you that I am sorry. I am very, very sorry for the way I sounded to you last time. I am very, very sorry. Please forgive me. It's okay. Um, now, this is your own <laughs> gift. The wrapper. Mm. Wow. 
This is so beautiful. Hey, I know you will definitely give this to me. I know you too well. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my dear. What will I be doing with all of them? You know, I can't tie all of them now. I must share it with you. Mama Clara, thank you so much. I'm so grateful. You're welcome. Hmm? You're always kind. I've not seen a friend like you before. Thank you so much. Thank you. I know you will like it. I like it. So, let me go in and bring you your own food stuffs. It's okay. Yes. It's okay. <clears throat> hey, Mama Clara, thank you I so much. I know you will much. like it. <laughs> Nadia, oh, okay. I'm coming. Hey. Oh, these are beautiful. I like them. I like the clothes. Thank you so much. Can you imagine? After insulting me, me, Ugumma, and she now called me to give me this. This nonsense wrapper that is not even in vogue. Something that is not fine for Imagine. Anyway, I don't blame her. I don't blame her at all. She will soon regret ever saying all those things to me. She thinks I easily forgive. Nonsense. My elders, I welcome all of you. Uh, it is commonly said amongst our people that a man can see a tiny snake on his way and may even go ahead and call his uh, kinsmen and tell them that he saw a giant python. At the same time, we also know that this adage goes this way that an elder is not supposed to stay at home and watch a she goat deliver a his dinner. <clears throat> you see, as an elder who I am, I am supposed to voice out every evil crept into this large family. If there is any way that the taboo is about drifting, finding itself into here, I am supposed to stop it. Voice it out before everybody. We are one family, one large family of a big Madoka. And we've always been known for doing things together. Uh, our brother here, our son here, called me on phone and told me one abominable, sacrilegious, despicable tale. I and I said okay. But he went ahead and told me to please summon his father and his wife to come and tell him why they did what they did to him. I mean, in America, our son came up with this report to me. You have spoken long. But can you tell us? <coughs> What you discussed with Nemeka for? Yes, what is it that what he told you? Mm. I told you. Mm. Mm. Huh? This is evil I've never heard of before. I pray it to be, at the end, it to be uh, just fake. Mm. Nemeka told me 
that his father, our brother Alfred, yeah, gave him his mistress to marry. Hey! He went ahead and said that they have been doing this nonsense together for a very long time and that he's convinced that his son, Junior, is a direct product of that illicit relationship. No, 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 my elders. That is a lie. I can swear with my unborn child. That is a blatant lie. My husband, uh, please. Uh, keep quiet. You cannot talk while an elder is talking. So, this was exactly what our son told me. Darkness has overshadowed daylight. This is despicable and sacrilegious. Chief Alfred, what do you have to say about this? <laughs> Away, 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 away. I got more layers. Away, away. My elders, I greet you. Hey, hey. A bambu atu no gwe, a bambu atu no gwe. A broka no gwe ke me vela ko. What son will ask his father for fish? And his father will instead give him a snake or scorpion. I don't mean that. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm hmm. I never really knew that I will have to. Um. 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 um Chief Alfred, please save us this summer. Save us this summer. Did you give your mistress, to our son here, to marry? No. Lies. Lies! My elders, my father has been sleeping with my wife. Uh uh, brother. How can you say something like that about your wife? Eh? She is your wife. Oh, look at that thing. Come back to your seat, please. Oh. I'm Please, my husband, I am innocent. I am innocent. I didn't do such. I didn't do such a thing. I am innocent. If I kick you, if I kick you, you will have automatic miscarriage. Chip Hall. My elders. Um. Hold on. Who is the owner of this pant? Dr. Jack, answer my question. Who is the owner of this pant? It's my pant. But I lost it. I don't know. I don't know where it has been. I lost it. It's my pant. For once, she has said the truth. Now, my elders, please ask my father what my wife's pant is doing in his room. Hey! Johnny. My husband, I am innocent. I am innocent. I am innocent. Wow. 
sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Come here. Oh. What's up? This looks good on you. Turn around. Okay, man. <laughs> Your father got them for me. For real? Mm-hmm. My father got this for you? Yes. Wow. He said he wants me to look pretty and sexy for you. <laughs> Your father is such a guy, man. My father is one guy, man, who doesn't want to get old. Exactly. <laughs> I well, so much love the girl. Uh-huh, sugar, that reminds me. Where are the pants I bought for you on Valentine's Day? Oh, that. <laughs> you know, I actually love them so much, but I don't know where I kept them. I can't find them. Excuse me. You can't find the pants I bought for you on Lover's Day. It's a special gift, what are you saying? <sighs> Baby, I know. It's not like I just kept it carelessly. Uh, maybe it's almost I've entered our room and made away with it. Or probably I forgot it at home. I don't know. Are you saying that someone entered our room and left with the panties I bought for you and you are not aware about it? That means you're a careless person. <sighs> Baby. It's not like that. No, no, see, no, don't tell me. Excuse me, it's wrong. Baby, wait, wait, wait. See, I promise I will look for it. Excuse me, I'm upset. Babe. I bought you a special gift and you're here talking rubbish about it. How could I just care this? Babe! Where could this on this be? So tell us what your pant was doing in my father's bedroom. I swear, woman, shut up. Just keep quiet. Mm. 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 Hello? Mkabona. Onyo mwunea. Bakola kawele. Honor and not all. Honor and no one. I don't know. No one, no one. When you go, Nemeka, Nemeka, my son, I am talking to you as your father. 
this is final. Take this your wife home. And do not lay your hands on her. If you do, you will regret it. Take it from me. You must explain to me. I'm okay now, please. I'm okay now, please. If the child is good, take this. My elders, as far as I'm concerned, this marriage is over. Hey. No. And if I see you anywhere around my house, I will strangle you with his hair. My hands. Please. Of all the people in the world, my father. My father. My father came for Papa, I know you. You're not a senator. You gave me your mistress for me to marry you. No. No way. I can't take it. No. I know my daughter, Clara. I know you too well. You cannot do such a thing. There's no way you can involve yourself in such act. No, I can't take it. I will call your husband. Let him be mindful of what he accuses you of. Let him be mindful of what he accuses you of. Oh, I don't want to. I will not take it. I will not take that nonsense from anybody. Because you cannot do such a thing. I know you. I am your mother. You cannot do it. Look at me. Stop crying. I did not do anything. I know. I swear my life. No. You don't need to swear for me. I know, I know. Please stop crying. It's okay. See your condition. Stop crying. You are not my son. You are not my son. I am not your father, and you are not my son. Now get out. Get out of this place. Open that gate. Open that gate. Yeah, come here. Come here. Are you listening to me? Listen carefully. I don't want to see this thing. Anyone goes to house again. Okay. I don't want to see this thing. Anyone goes to house again. Open that gate. Open that gate. Open that gate. Papa, I know you. You're not a sinner at all. You gave me your mistress. For me to stand here on the zip. No, 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 Dear, my has broken. Daddy, how could you? How could you do this to him? How could you marry your own mistress for your son? You even went ahead sleeping with her under the same roof. How could you, Daddy? I want to know your reason. Why did you do it? Alfred. Alfred! That is not true. Tell me what she's saying is not true. Can you people stop, please? My father is innocent. He didn't do any of this you people are accusing him of. He only care and loves Clara like his own daughter. Who is feeding you both with these lies? Who, who, who is trying to tarnish my father's image? I just hope. I just hope these are all lies. Don't blame you. Ruby, I don't blame you at all. Because you don't know what this man you call your father is capable of doing. She don't even know anything about his past life. Can't you see? Can't you see one of his mistresses living this house? I guess. I guess. This is the same reason mother left you. 
I hate you for doing this to me. I hate you for doing this to us all. I hate you, Daddy. Papa, I know you. You're not a sentimental. You gave me your mistress for me to marry on this Zimba. On this Zimba. And we not accept it. Please tell me the truth. Did you do it? Were you sleeping with Clara? Tell me something, Daddy, please. Bring your nephew. Bring Clara to the house. Come on, Daddy. That isn't the answer I expected. And what was going on? I'm losing my mind. I don't even know what to believe anymore, Daddy. Something in me tells me that Clara is innocent. Hmm? Yes. Clara might not be cheat. Alfred, your brother's mistress. Now check it. Check it now. Do you think that Chief Alfred of such personality would take his own mistress to give to the son, the only son, to marry? How come? Is it possible? Chief Alfred, I know cannot do such abominable thing. People should look into it too. Papa, I think Mama is right. On a normal circumstance, one cannot just introduce his mistress to his son to marry. Even if they have done something in the past, it's still somehow. Yes, friends can do that, no doubt. But for a father, a son. I don't think it's possible. Mm -hmm. Papa, this is abomination. It's abomination. Yes. Did Nemeka catch them? Did Nemeka saw them panting down? I mean, a, a while on the arts. If no, why are you people concluding that the arts had happened? Why? Um. Okay, what are you hallucinating now? Were you not there when he presented her pant? Or did Clara deny ownership of the pant? She did. Uh -huh. she, she did. She never denied that the pant was not high. That pant was found right inside uh, Chief Alfred's uh, bedroom. How do, you, how, how do you look at that one? And you forgot that somebody must have planted that in to cause unrest in that family. Like who? Who, who must have done that? Tell me who, who do you think? I wouldn't know who must have done that, but it's possible that somebody must have done it just to make sure that she now that uh, innocent pregnant woman. To be old, that woman is innocent till tomorrow. Anyway, you should spare yourself on the stress of talking from both sides of your mouth because the elders have ended it. Mm -hmm. They have ruled that. It's not that you She will swear and hold us to her innocence. So you let the good day. Uh, all of them will be gathered in this place. To that extent. Yes. They will come and swear. She will swear to her innocence. And that ends the matter. Mm. Papa, I know you. You're not a sentimental. You gave me your mistress for me to marry on the Zimba. Babe, listen to me. You're not doing anything with your father. I swear, I don't have anything with your father. I told you I don't want to see your ugly face in my house anymore. Uh, babe, please just calm down and listen to me. I swear that I'm both child. I don't have not done anything with your father. So what are you doing here? Babe, please, I just want you to hear me out. I don't have anything with your father. Very good. Very good. Ah! <laughs> 
my father. My own father! I shall go, go, go. Die! No sense. What is my shoe? I love you. What is my shoe? What is your shoe? I married you, I paid your blood price, so if you die, I will bury you, and nothing will happen. Papa, I know you, you're not a center at all. You gave me your mistress for me to marry on the Zimba. On the Zimba. I will not accept it. Papa, Mama, we're See you again, Father Hachi. Why do you come to work up for this guy? Come to the evening, they cry, sir. Marriage has broken. All of us are not. She knows how to say. I know how to say. Yeah, correct. Come on. No courage, no courage. No courage. Ball. Oh boy. Okay. Fine ball. Okay. Yeah. Boy, come, come. Hey. Ball. Papa, I know you. Daddy. You're not a center. Did the gate man just called me now? He said in the Mecca is pissed off Clara and, and she passed out. What? Yes, Daddy. A pregnant woman. Yes, Daddy, 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 you have to do something. Why would that be? I don't know. Daddy. Just in here. That boy is not far from this bush. I tell you. If I catch that boy, I could lose that. If I catch that boy, uh, I go, I go, I go butcher that boy. In the suffers, eh? In the suffers, I go butcher that boy. Dad, I hear something. I hear something. I hear something. Did you hear? Hey! Come on, come!
Why are they chasing you? Huh? Why are they chasing you? Oh my God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This must be kidnappers. Oh my God. Are you okay? Huh? Are you okay? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The plans of the enemy will never prevail. It shall never prevail. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. My son. Uh, where's my son? Where's Junior? Where's Junior? Where's Junior? 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 Where's my son? Daddy, Daddy, where's my son? Junior is fine. My son! Where's my son? My son is fine. Just, just relax. Where's my son? Where's Junior? Junior is fine. Where's my son? My son! Clara. My son. Your son is fine. Just relax. Your son is fine. Uh, sorry about that. She, she's reacting to the injection I gave her. She'll be fine. Uh, I'll be on my way now. Just call me when she wakes up. Mm. Yes. Alright. Alright, sir. Arrest for assaulting your son in his house. Anything you do or say here will be used against you in the court of law. With due respect, Chief, do it. Hey, shut up! What is this? I don't understand. Let us shut up! If anyone should speak or interrupt justice, officer, arrest the person immediately! Move! Oh, God, move, move, move! I don't have time, move! your father. What is going on you? I don't have to be your own father. Your biological father. Hey! Of course. I had to. I did what I did because my father sent boys to beat up on America. No, I won't let that slide. Don't be silly, Deborah. What is the reason you place your father behind bars? There's enough reason to place him behind bars. And don't tell me you've gone there to free him. I went to the police to free my emo, your father. Why? Why will you do that? Deborah, because you're being unreasonable. What is going on? What is all this? In America, your brother has no right whatsoever to lay his feet behind the back of man. Never! That is unacceptable in the court of law. Anybody deserves to be behind bars should be in America, your brother, not your father. I don't care. I don't care at all. So you want to practice your attorney on my family? Don't tell me you bail my father without my consent. Press charges on me if you don't desist to be on this level here. Try. What is going on you? Are you aware that Junior is missing? As we speak, Junior is nowhere to be found. Are you serious? No, do I look at one just to you? Or better say I've come to your office to make just for Junior's disappearance? In the mega through his son. His only son! His biological son out of his house. Now Gino is missing. Gino is nowhere to be found. Do you know what that means in the court of law? I bet you don't know. If anything happens to Gino, if anything happens,
happens to that innocent boy, you will regret ever knowing me. I'm taking up this case. Tell that fool of a brother, Nemeka, to get ready for me. We can no longer shout him. And now come. Please, what do we do? The police have been alerted about his sudden disappearance. May I remind you that Nemeka was acting under unclear information. He's been manipulated by whatsoever he claimed he heard or see or has as any evidence. Very sorry to interrupt you walking out as okay, but what really happened that day? I mean, you said uh, he fled up, he screamed and all of that. What, what happened? Yes, that was after the woman left his office. Okay. I believe the woman said something to him. No. Mm. They discussed at length and my boss left. No less than half hour, my boss returned. That was it. But I'm certain the woman motivated his action on that very day. Yes. So why, why are you certain about this? Before my boss left his office, he was already pissed off. His face was full of anger that I even hid myself in a corner. Mm -hmm. I'm certain the woman instigated something. That is why my boss acted like that. Okay, um, I mean, do you think um, they had some sort of formal conversation, I mean, business discussion or something? Honestly, I don't know. What I do know was, as soon as the woman left his office, my boss became furious. If it's a business, my boss would have called me or mm -hmm. asked me to print out a document. <sighs> Okay, you know what? Enough of uh, your boss. Okay, let's talk about the lady. Can you describe this woman to me? Can you tell me how she looks? I mean, everything, everything about the lady. Yes. Okay. But she's not a regular fix. No. Um, okay. She's dark in complexion. Not that chubby. Um, about five point two inches tall. She has a cute smile on her face. Okay, does she, mm, does she have any hair? And how long is the hair? Is she pleated or something? Uh, yes. Um, her hair is a little bit long. Shoulder length. Alright, thank you very much. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank, thank you, I really appreciate it. Okay, you can go back now. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. So you have the nerves to walk into my house and interrogate me while sitting on my couch? Because you're marrying my sister? Or because you're a barrister? Which? Oga, be careful around here. Because your next question might land you in trouble. So be very, very careful around here. Neha Pala. Nebeka, take it easy. Calm down, okay? It hasn't gotten to this point. Listen. Need I remind you that I am a member of this family? Look, I'm only trying to help in this ugly situation here. Okay, I want to help. I mean, why are things happening this way? We're all concerned. My father came into my house with thoughts. Look at what they did to me. No, look at what my father and his thugs did to me. Listen, you're a lawyer, right? Fine and good. I want to make sure my father rots in jail. I will pay any amount to achieve that. I want to see my father in court. I want him in that judgment box. Can you help me do that? Nemeka, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about what happened to you. I am very sorry. But there was an assault here. I mean, you assaulted your wife until she passed out. No, rephrase that. I asked my father's mistress to leave my house. That's the point. 
Well, whichever way we look at, there was an assault. Okay, there was a physical assault. I mean, you assaulted a seven-month-old pregnant woman. How can you be that? Well, let's just forget about what your father did to you and all of that. Let's focus on why are things happening this way. The time is up. Leave my house. Excuse me. You heard me loud and clear. Leave my house. Else I will disfigure your face and see you in court. Nemeka, are you asking me to leave your house? Are you deaf? I said leave. Leave my house. Alright. Fine. Leave your fight, this your face and see you in court. Get out. How dare you walk into my house to ask me stupid questions? Madionisa Jabwala. I will disfigure your face and see you in court. Papa, I know you. You're not a sentimental. You gave I'm me not. your mistress for me to marry on the Zimma. On the Zimma. I will not accept it. Papa, Papa, Papa. Your brother in America is acting on uncleared information. Unverified information and not what he knows. Listen, someone somewhere is instigating this violence. And trust me, I'll get to the root of it. Good lawyer. Good husband. Intelligent. Brave man. Clap for yourself. Now you tell me. What was Clara's this doing in my father's bedroom when they nearly got married? Yes, I understand they were living under the same roof, but not in my father's bedroom. May I also remind you that my father had an amazing time with some girls like Susie, Peggy, Clara, name them while he was in Cameroon. May I also remind you that my father did take Clara out for shopping, buy her sexy panties, sexy bags, shoes, name them. Does that not ring a bell to you? Hello? Or are we going to call it a father and daughter-in-law relationship? Do we need anyone to explain that to us? That aside, tell me, what was Clara's this doing in my father's bedroom? Advocate. Deborah. Yes? Are you judging based on factual or insinuations? You're not your brother who will strongly stand here to defend himself. Look, if this case goes back, do you, I mean, do any of you have any evidence, any undeniable evidence to back up this claim? Do you? I mean, do you have any proof to show that Clara was having an affair with your father? Rather than the silly or, 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 or silly news or whatever you call it of uh, lost undies that was later found years in your father's bedroom. Do you have any proof? Deborah, do you have any evidence to show that Clara was having an affair with your father? Well, I guess you want to give me the silly or flimsy excuse of the treats or whatever he buys for her. Come on, Deborah. I expected that you were more intelligent and smart. Let's come over here. Listen, I need you to get where I'm going here. Whoever brings up that false information does not mean well for the family. Trust me. That person is up to something. That person is fighting so hard to either hit your father, Chief, or Clara, or even your brother, Nemeka. Trust me.
No. You can't confuse me, Fred. I stand with my brother Nemeka. Clara is a whore. She can get married to my father for all I care. My father can father the child. We are tired of that abomination. I stand with Nemeka and there's nothing you can do to change that. The hatred is so oozing out of you. Whatever. Deborah, I can see you're battling with resentment for Clara. Fred, let my family affairs not bring rifts in our marriage. So, I will advise you to soft pedal in my family issues. I see. So, son, you see, the rest of the animals gathered together and came to the... I went to the tortoise and they said, Mr. Tortoise, bring out your mother so that we can eat her. Wow. <laughs> you know, Mr. Tortoise, you know, is a crafty, cunning animal. Wise animal. So he came out. Oh, oh, you see. Oh, my mother. She fell sick last night and she died. And I had to bury her. Robert, was he saying the truth? Oh, of course not. I knew it. <laughs> Mr. Tortoise is crafty. He buried his mother and covered her cuffs with dry leaves. Meanwhile, that was the agreement. The animals had an agreement. Each of them would bring his mother, they would eat. They see what happened when he got to the town of Mr. Tortoise. And that was after eating other animals' mothers. Yes. Um, Junior, it's time for us to go. We need to leave Grandpa to rest. My eyes are closing. <sighs> Mom, we can go to bed. I want to stay with Grandpa. Then we can continue to stay. Junior, mm. tomorrow is school. But I know, Mom. Grandpa, say something. Junior, you know what will happen? Tomorrow, I promise you, I will complete the story. So, listen to mommy. Grandpa, but the other animal eats your mother as well. Oh, you guys are here. Uh, hey. How are you doing? <laughs> Junior, how are you? You need to listen to the one who story Grandpa told us about the wise tortoise and his kinsman. I know that story. The tortoise hid his mom from his cannibal kinsman, right? Yes, but him too is a cannibal animal daddy. Uh, let's leave that for another day. But for now, go to bed. Nice, Grandpa. All right, Junior. Off you go to bed. <laughs> Ah. Good boy. Good boy. Good night. All right. Good night. Good night. Ah. 
Sam. Ba. <sighs> Very proud of you, I must say. You're making me happy, I must tell you, okay? Thanks, Dad. Um, you know, a good wife brings peace in a family. A bad woman, a bad wife, oh, scatter, scatter. Everybody there, everybody there. Hmm? I know why I'm saying this, but you have made me proud. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yes, I... I give you the... My duplex in the city center. It's yours now. It's all yours now. You don't mean it, Dad. How else do you want a father to say something like that to his son he loves? And aside from that, I've already spoken to one of my friends. He will be giving you employment in one of his oil companies. So, you're a made man now. You are the best dad in the world. And I tell you, you're the best son. Thank you, Father. Thank you very much. Good things are yet to come. I really appreciate this, Dad. Oh, uh, yes. Police will help you find your parents. Okay? I'm scared of leaving this place. I'm also scared of going out of this place. You don't need to be scared, Junior. Alright? You can't stay here. Not like I don't want you to stay, but you can't. It's illegal for me to keep you here without the knowledge of the police nor your parents. Father kicked me out of the house. He kicked my mother and I out of the house. So that's preposterous. Why would he do that? Why? He said I am not the son. I am scared of leaving this place. Don't let anyone know that I am here. I promise to be of good conduct. Junior. Back then on the highway, what were you doing there? Were you kidnapped? Two men chased me. They chased me out of my street. They looked deadly. And that was what my mind told me, that they wanted to kill me. So I started to run for my life. Oh my God. That must be the Holy Spirit that gave you such wisdom to run away. Okay, so where is your mother? Where is she right now? In my village, my maternal village. Okay, so then you know your maternal village. You can take me there right now. I don't even know the road. I miss my mom. She wants to give me a baby sister. A baby sister? She's pregnant? 
Yes, she is. Oh, my God. Is that so? Yes, mother. That was what the poor boy told me in here today. What? Why would a man drive away his family? I mean, his pregnant wife of the street. This is strange. So strange, ma'am. So strange. It's, 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 it's some form of wickedness on its own class and level. I've never seen such. My son really needs to do something. Or maybe it's the will of God that uh, uh, this boy should be with us. But meanwhile, I will continue to pray for more revelations. Mother, please do. I strongly believe so in my heart too. It's okay. But then I will keep finding more about the boy and his origin. It's okay. She's so, so bad right now. 